Okay, so I'm filming on my phone because my GoPro is not like the computer is not wanting to download the GoPros for some reason. So we're riding for the first time in like since December 31st, I think. Yeah, so about December 31st. Or maybe a little bit before that. So, Swag is going to be a little bit interesting today. So, if you hear these dogs barking, that's my neighbor's dogs. They have, like, hunting dogs, so. Oh, Bugs and Jasper sniffing noses. So sweet. Anyways, I don't post Jasper a lot. I don't know why. I just don't have a lot of pictures of him. Hi, buddy. Don't mind my baby voice I talk to him in. It's the only way I talk to him. You stink. You smell like pickle salt or something. What did you get into? Yeah. Little fun fact about him. He's eight. Um, And like two years ago, he got into rat poison on the porch. So I had to like tackle him and like kind of like have the prize mouth open and like shake out the rat poison. That was not a fun time period. Me and my friend, Daltrey Rowland, were jumping on the trampoline and like I turned around just in time to like see him getting the rat poison. So I jumped off of the trampoline in midair. Oh, there you are. Midair and chased him down. So we're gonna just get like a few treats. And these jeans are too small. Don't come at me for that. And I have to ride in mud boots. Because my boots are tolerable. But if I try to walk in them, they start hurting. So I'm just not there yet. So I'm going to get the halter that we won at the rodeo that's coming up and this weekend. And I got to brush them. I haven't brushed them in a while. But I'm just going to not push it today. And I'm just going to walk them and trot them in there. Hold on, like y'all can barely see in there. Sorry, this is like such bad quality. But like I said, GoPro's not loading. And I can't show my face, so that kind of sucks. But that's where Sky's buried down there. So we just wanted her to be with the horses. And there's sometimes when I'll see Becca pawing at it where she's buried and laying down there. See, I just miss her. I just miss. I just miss my big sister. Good girl. Delta's the only one that'll walk up to me if I have the halter. Swagger would will run away from me. Swagger would run away from me. Or Sky would run away from me. I said that wrong. Sorry about that. Come here, bud. Hey, buddy. He's very dirty. So just, like, give me a second. Okay, we just caught Swagger. There's Bugsy. Hey, buddy. Oh, my gosh. This is, like... The second time you've ever let me touch you. So, we got Bugsy. He's a bottle fed. He's a little bit weird. Um, because he smells the treats on my hands. He'll eat horse treats. Delta, baby, what have I told you? Can't walk in front of the lead rope. So, you hurt yourself. Anyways. Um, we got him when he was probably, like, six hours old so he had he hadn't had any colostrum from his mom and the mom had twins and wanted the other one so it is literally he's living literally a living miracle so we were we didn't even think that he was gonna live but he has never had to have any like shots to make him do better i know daisy had to have shots because she was about to die I know that sensitive topic. Sorry about that. But she's fine. We're probably going to go pick her up this weekend. Probably Saturday or Sunday. Probably Saturday. Um, After we get home from the race. Because the guy's house that she's at is near the radio. So I'm just tying this. And don't judge my time. Because... I'm trying to do this with one hand. 
Okay, so I finally, like, I finally got him looking better. I just gave him a treat. I'm going to blur that out. <laughs> but, he looks better. So, we're going to get the saddle and everything. And I'm going to go ahead and get that out so he doesn't take any brushes out. Because he's had a habit of doing that. So, it's shedding season for him. So, I know it's probably going to get a lot hotter now that he's starting to shed. And I'm so excited because he looks really, 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 really good and muscled up when he sheds. So, I'm excited. But I'm not excited for the shedding part. I'm not excited for that because that's literally the thing. One thing that I dread about horses is the shedding. He's just waiting there like a good boy. So, his blanket and his bridle... Bit and bridle is in the trailer, so I gotta get that. But, um, yeah, I have not seen Jasper now that I think about it. Jasper, he's probably at the neighbors, who knows? I don't know, but like, I just looked at his house and was like, Oh, there he is. You ready? Oh, okay, he's on my tire. I already had some nice stuff on it today. And it hurt. It hurt really bad. So this is Swagger's blanket. It's got gel right there. And like that part. It's a really nice. It's that. So we are all tacked up. I love the sunflowers on here. It just makes me so happy. So I'm going to get different rings. Don't worry. I don't like those rings. Those bro racer rings. To me, they're too big. I have some leather ones. I just don't feel like changing out right now. But it's my first time riding in this Calvin Sunflower Hot Head Stalls. Um, when I get, like, famous. like Not, like, famous famous. But, like, when I get more followers. I'm hoping that. Ooh. Ooh, it feels so good to be back in the saddle. But, um, I'm hoping that Hot Head Stalls, like, sponsors me or something. Because, like, I love them. Like, I've ordered from them maybe, like, two or three times. But, like, look at this horse. I love him for that. And I've been riding him with my spurs. They're really cool. Um, but, like, he's been doing good without them. Like, I haven't been, like, hurting them or anything without them. But, and I don't have to kick them too hard. It, this pen feels really big when we're not on but when I'm on him, it's like it shrinks, like, ten times. So, yeah. We're still trying to get used to the new bit. I got this bit for Christmas. I really got most of my horses stuff for Christmas for my parents. Because um, they know that I don't use a lot of things. But I'm happy that they got this stuff for them. And he also got a purple hay bag. Which I'm really happy about because it's like one of the do more hay bags, or I think it is. I don't know, but he's just stopping me right there. But um, I'm really happy about it because it's like bigger than the one that Sky's old one. You are not stopping to use bathroom, you little trickster. Go on, you little butthole. So I'm kind of just like edging them over with my foot. And he's reacting to it really well. I don't know if it's like the muck boots or what. But I'm going to look like a redneck. Oh my gosh, that car's so bad. I'm going to look like a redneck. Pulling up to that radio in my muck boots. I know that for, that's for sure. Because usually I wear my boots. I tried them on. And we are making progress, y'all. We are making progress. I'm hoping to be in my boots and radio and in my boots in probably April because it was tolerable. It was really tolerable. Okay, now he's using bathroom. Until I started walking. When I started walking, it just kind of like hurt the tip of my toe where they put the screw in. So, honestly, it wasn't comfortable. He saw the dog running and when he sees other things running, he wants to run. 
this, it was really not comfortable. So I just don't want to push it. So that's, mm. I thought he was about to start running back and I mean, I know he's better than that, but there's one video that I hadn't posted because my GoPro's, or my computer's acting weird with my GoPro. Um, there's one video that I haven't posted. I said, and he's so good, like he never bucks. And we were coming up, running up that hill. Um, and literally he started going buck wild crazy. As soon as I said that, he bucked maybe like, I don't know, 30 seconds. And I was like, okay, listen. My horse instructor says, like, horses don't understand English. They understand that. I'm not even kidding you. Like, there's times when I've sworn Delta understands English. Because I'll, like, tell her to get away from Swagger's food or something like that. And she would go trotting away as soon as I said that. And so, I don't know if that had to do with me yelling at her or what. But not even kidding, y'all horses understand English or at least my horses do so or they might understand certain words they I know they understand certain words because they've heard them a lot so I'm excited um Delta is coming along so well y'all it's not even funny like honestly I don't believe in reincarnation because like I mean like let's be serious like Let's just be serious about that. I don't believe in it. Because that's just my religion. But there is sometimes when I'm questioning it. Because she, I mean, she doesn't like the bit. I don't, if y'all have any tips on how to get her to like start tolerating the bit. I don't have a problem with her getting it on her. Because she like takes it willingly. It's like she self rattles. But it's just the part with it le with me leaving it in there I don't know what to do about it she like starts thinking she's gonna choke on it and <laughs> starts like coughing like she's almost gonna like throw up or something which I don't think horses can throw up which but it sounds like she's gonna throw up to me it does so I think she just thinks she's gonna like start choking on it so I don't know what to do <laughs> but she's coming along so well like when we first threw this saddle on her she never flinched. She never showed any interest to it. She was like, what are y'all putting on my back? Like, y'all think I'm going to go crazy. Y'all be so for real. So, when even when we cinch it up tight to where, like, to how I have it on Swagger, she doesn't do anything. She just walks around, lets me walk around. I'm still having problems with trying to get her to lope. <laughs> I mean, not lope, lunge. She's doing better. I'm just starting small with her again. She's doing better. But still, it's not where I want her to be. But, like, she's doing so well. I'm so excited. And I was nervous because um, my horse instructor um, went, like, she was, when we first got her, she's out of Hollywood Done It. She, or she's one of the horses. She has him in her bloodlines. And he said, yeah, pretty much all, every horse after Hollywood done it has been buck wild crazy. Like, I don't think that y'all might be able to train her or generally. And I was like, I don't know. She's getting to where she'll lay down in the pasture. And when I come out there, she'll let me sit down beside her and put her head in my lap and go to sleep. So he was already like, oh, yeah, I think she might be one of the easy ones. I didn't think she would be this easy, but part of me is still like, she's holding out on you. Don't get your expectations too high. She's holding out on you for you to get on her. So I'm kind of concerned with her <laughs> because she's high spirited, but I feel like with her being this sky for the six months to a year that she was with her, maybe longer. I feel like that kind of got most of the spunk out of her. I don't know. I'm probably boring y'all, but I will. <sighs> so, I lied. That I was just going to trot and walk, walk and trot. I was actually loping because I was so happy to be finally on the horse. So, I was like, you know, we're going to lope up, down, up and down that hill over there in the front yard. 
That was a bad mistake because he started to crow hop down by like that pine tree down there at the bottom of the yard. <laughs> he started to crow hop. And I was like, okay, we're gonna go through this area again, moping, just to like see if it was this area, if it was me, if it was just him having a frisky fun time, you know. No, because when I went through the area again, he did it again. So I was like, okay, it's gotta be me, the gate that he's in, like him just not like his footing. So I go through another time at a different gate. <laughs> at a different angle and he still tried to crow hop so whatever kinks that we have to work out we'll work them out at the radio because it'll either be during the warm-ups or exhibitions and i honestly do not feel like getting booked off especially with a toe that i just had surgery on two months ago so i don't feel like doing that so we're just unsettling now and I let him off at a good note. Um, just so that he doesn't try to do that again. Y'all, this is how you know when you need a new cinch thing. I forgot what this is called. But I need to know because I'm planning to do the Dixie National Radio Pageant. And if you don't know what that is, it's like the Dixie National Radio, but it's a pageant. And if you win the pageant, then you get to, like, be a flag carrier for the whole season. So, I'm hoping that I learn enough stuff. Because you don't know the questions they're going to ask you. You just have to know all the ins and outs of rodeo and horses and bulls. So, we are just going to start learning that right now. Because the next pageant's in February, I think. So... We are just good. So, and hopefully, so you have to have a backup horse if, like, your horse gets hurt or something, or if it can't do the pattern. So, hopefully, Delta's going to be broken off that I can use her as my backup horse or use Swagger as my backup horse and use her. But, you know, like, whatever God, just like, whatever God tells me to do, I'm going to do it. Because I know it's going to turn out for the best. So, I'm going to get this off and get that off. And I'm going to feed them. And I know this video is going to be long and it's probably boring you. So, sorry about that. But people who are still watching, thank you so much. Y'all, not even lying. I just about busted my butt trying to take that saddle and saddle pad in there because I've like apparently I've lost some muscle from not carrying that stuff like 24 7 every day because I was carrying it right about where that feed pan is don't mind how junky our thing is I know we got to get that fixed it's just wood and stuff that we need for fishing and stuff and building stuff so don't mind it but right about there is where I messed up because I was walking I started limping a little bit and my bad foot got stuck in the stirrup right there and I about fell down I tripped and like when I tell y'all I didn't feel anything I mean I don't feel anything which is kind of scary because I went to the doctor and they said I had a deterioration starting to form in my foot but you know like cowgirl I don't listen to the doctor like I don't listen to what they say and <laughs> I probably should now but I don't feel it which I mean <laughs> that's good for me because I'm not feeling anything right now but that's also like probably a bad thing because I probably just like damaged all the nerves in my toe I don't know I'm not informed in medical stuff like that so, like I don't know but yeah, I think I just like damaged my foot though. <laughs> but that was just fun. Because I was like, just talking to myself, I was like, no, it'd be funny if I just like tripped. And then right there, it just happened. So like, 
anything that just like brought that on probably just like is dying out laughing right now from that because i was dying out laughing when i hit it hey buddy just waiting by the gate like a good boy all right i gotta get his leave rope he's already looking like he's got his summer coat like look at that that's so pretty i probably got like a pound of hair off of him when i brushed him there But that literally carrying that saddle in just like has me so tired that I could just go to sleep right now and not wake up until seven o'clock for school. Not seven o'clock, that's when we leave. Um, six forty-five for school. Like that's how tired it made me. But I was just like loping in the yard, and my dad came up and said, "So what are you gonna do if he starts doing that bucking thing at the radio?" I said, I don't know. I'm just going to get it out during the warm up. He said, oh, well, I was looking at the weather channel. It said it's going to rain like crazy Friday night. I said, oh, well, they don't cancel that radio unless it's something that's, like, life-threatening. So, you know, if it's not too bad, they won't cancel it. Hopefully, praying tonight that it won't be too bad tomorrow. And it just occurred to me. That tomorrow is Friday. I'm so excited. You're not getting out. She loves the round pin for some reason. I don't know if it's because she knows she's going to get a treat in there. Or what. But she loves it. So that. She's just a weird horse. She's just really weird. So. She's really weird. And she's weird like me. So. If you don't know me. I may seem like. Not cool. But just like. A little chill. I don't know. That sounds weird. But then once you really get to know me, I'm crazy. So, like, my friend's probably watching this right now. And she's like, yeah. And she's probably going to comment, oh, I have, like, cow crap on my boots. That's disgusting. Ow! The dog almost just landed on my foot. I've gotten to a point where I say ow. Things that don't even hurt. So, that's so funny to me. Okay, so there's their buckets. That is Scott's old bucket that's just like now spiders. That stuff this because it's pink and pink is her color. And this is Buggy's bucket because he doesn't need a lot. He's, he's almost a year old. And he's like pot billed. So I give Swagger this Wear a Million Golden Energizer food. It's year round. Really? So it's good for him. And I'm probably going to give him some. Friday, so that he just really gets good and good protein. This makes him run fast. <laughs> um, before we were feeding him that, and I was like, you know, I might get the best results. So I was like, you know, let's try something new. So my dad found this one's a lot cheaper. And that's what it looks like. And he loves it. Like, he loves it. So is the dog, apparently. Because the dog will eat up his scraps that he drops. Because he needs to get his tooth loaded. But we just haven't gotten around to it. But this is what I need. Lay off on that fat. But I also want to put her here. So I just give her a little bit of this alpha oat. I don't give her as much as swagger because... Swagger's a working horse. Like a working progress horse. And then I just give Bugsy big scoop of this. So I just give Bugsy big scoop of this. And I put it in Swagger's because we feed Delta first. And then I'm going to feed him last, like I always do, but they're lining up. And they're kind of lined up in order. I feed her, then him, then him. So. Shut the barn so mice don't get in there. Well, y'all, I don't know when the point is for mice to rats because there's some big old mice that I found in there that I think is rats, but they ain't qualified as rats. So I don't want to see a, a rat because those are some pretty big mice in the barn sometimes. So. You know, like, going to feed your horses that can all innocent, then minding your business and finding a big old rat just feasting 
own your food, and I'm just getting attacked. Dog horses, please don't run me over. And y'all can just run me over, just like avoid the toe. Delta, I'm caught on the barbed wire. Dang it, girl, you know how to wait. So I feed her and Sky's old stall thing, so just no horse can get her because she's a no eater. And she does make laps when she eats. I don't know if any other horse does. But she does make laps when she eats. So she's kind of weird. In my opinion. But. Now I'm going to feed Swagger. Then I'm going to feed Bugsy. And we have Bugsy his own little stall. Even though he's the quickest eater. Um. So yeah. Our place is kind of like messily organized. Like I promise. We are organized people. We just have to gotten the barn organized so he goes eating his food automatically and then Bugsy's turn and then he tries to headbutt me when he eats go on and like y'all may think I'm like mean but like I have to like kneel to make him go in his stall then he tries to do that which is so funny because I hate it when he does that and if he doesn't get out of the way then he just dumps all his food out so he's kind of like a pig like he's kind of like our pet pig i might get some hate for saying all these things but i call him muscle sometimes and i call her fatty she's just really pet fat she's just really pot belly because she hasn't been worked ever since a baby just being there for the pleasure of it. So, she's kind of just really pot belly. I mean, no offense to anybody watching this. Like, I know I sound all rude, but I'm just like, trust me, I'm not meaning it to sound rude. Like, I promise. I don't know if I just get that much food. Come on, babe. And I know, like, there's going to be some dog people probably commenting on this or watching in this. Watching and watching this. They're going to be like, why don't you feed your pet raw food? The reason I don't do that is because he has a very, very high protein. Like, not high protein. If he gets high protein feed, he is not going to go. And he's going to go crazy. And he's an old dog. He's eight years old. He's a German short hair pointer for people wondering. And he lives over here. He has two buckets of feed. And I mean water. Because that one has a hole in it. And that one because he dumps it out. So he has moved his house around. I promise he can still get in there. I promise you. And we just keep him chained. So he doesn't go chasing after any coyotes. Or anything like that and get himself killed or like run into the road because we have some people that drive really fast down because we live on like a hill and they like it's a very hilly road hilly i don't know if that's a word but like whatever but like they go over the hill calm down and then come up really fast so we just like want to keep him safe so we're just doing everything to keep that and i'm gonna like make sure that's locked. That is locked. I have it on video, so if I doubt myself, I can go back and look.